What does it mean to pray in the will of God? Um, well, the will of God uh, is for, you know, the will the will f for God is, is, that, is that all men will be saved. Um, there's a scripture in Timothy who will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. And then there's 2 Peter 3 verse 9. And the Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us would not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So all to come to that change of mind about what God has done for them. We can't save ourselves. We are sinners. Um, we need to be perfect to go to heaven, and we're not. Because we, you know, we've all broken the, the laws of God. You know, the ten, the ten Commandments, we can't keep them. You know, we have a vile, corrupt corrupt nature that um that dishonors God and we need a new nature. Um so that so the will of God is for all men to be saved. So um so when when we pray to God, you know we, we should we should be praying for our family, you know, our friends, for for um for leaders, you know, for, for them to be saved. You know, I, I pray for God to, you know, to soften the hearts and minds, you know, give to give people the heart and mind to to absorb the word of God. That, that you know, um, that, that that seed, that seed will be planted and that, that these people will will one day, you know, come to see their need for a savior in, in the Lord Jesus Christ. And um so yeah um please if if you're a christian you know please please pray for the salvation of of you know people you know people you people you don't know you know people you um our politicians our leaders you know because God doesn't want any to perish. You know, Jesus died for for everyone and um and yet, you know, people will will reject you know the gift of God. People will reject Jesus Christ and and, and what he has done for them. But you know, we need a new nature. We need um we need the very righteousness of God to go to heaven and and you know this is um, so. I've been praying for God to give me strength because everything that's happening, you know, it's it's so easy to just condemn, to to just hate, to just want to join. Um, that hate, hate brigade, you know, that hate. But you know, as Christians, we we should be leaning on the Lord. You know, we should. Um, be be asking God for strength, um, because in our flesh nature there is nothing good. It is only in the in the new nature, the um, that that we can, you know, that, that there is righteousness. Um, so I'm just just encouraging um, just encouraging people to to just um. To put aside, you know, the deeds of the flesh, and and to just submit to God, you know, if you can't pray, if 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 you find it difficult, you know, give give it to God, you know, because because we can't do anything in our own strength, but through the Holy Spirit in us, you know, if you have that new nature of God inside you, you, you know, we um. It is a battle, it's a spiritual battle that we can't see. And we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against and the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. This is things that we can't see. Yes, our leaders are, um, you know, we're, are pretty much di dictating our lives, but, you know, we have the freedom to pray, we have the freedom to read the word of God, we have the freedom... The freedom to, to worship, you know, the Lord Most High. You know, there is still the freedom to to do this. 
you know, I know there is, there is, um, there is an attack on, you know, people coming together to, to worship God. Um, but it's, it's up to the church to stand, you know, to stand upon the word of God to, um, you know, we should, um, we ought to obey God rather than man. Um, but, you know, if, if we're not, if we're not praying for people, then who is? Because it is a battle for souls. And um, God wants none to perish, but all to come to repentance, all, all to have a change of mind about what what God has done for them in sending his son for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have ever have eternal life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he, he hath believeth not the record that God gave of his son. So, he, you know, when, when, we, when we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, we, we trust in his death, burial and resurrection, that he's you know he's he's died in our place um on the cross for our sins and we believe in him for everlasting life we can know we've got eternal life and you know we have we have a, a new nature we have the holy spirit who comes to live in us this is the only reason why we will go to heaven because we have the very nature of of um the very righteousness of god and and even though we are still sinners um, in this in this lifetime, in this body, God sees the very righteousness of Christ upon us. Um, and we have that choice every day to walk in the new nature, you know, to feed ourselves with the word of God, you know, to, to pray, um, to pray for others, to when when we're struggling to you know, to, to pray to pray to God and you know Jesus is the mediator between man and God you know we don't have to go to a priest um, to get sins absolved we can just we can just speak to the most high you know Jesus has that veil has been lifted Jesus is the mediator you know and um, we pray to the Father and you know in the name of Jesus you know this is how we should pray but God doesn't want anyone to perish. Um, so, you know, if, if we are struggling um, to, to pray for our leaders, you know, as the word of God says we should, then, um, you know, we obviously there's a spiritual issue there and, and we need, you know, we, we should be submitting to, to the word of God. You know, we should be seeking God's strength because there's nothing we can do in our own strength. Um, so... You know, try not to despair, and you know, just, 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 just look to God, um, because He is He is our strength, and we we need Him more than ever, um, because it's just so easy to to fall back into that, you know, to be watching videos and to 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 just be engaged with with all of that hate, all of that divide, and you know, as Christians, we we shouldn't. We should be separate from that, you know, we should be, you know, people should be looking to us, you know, what, what is our hope? You know, why, why are we different? Why are we acting different? Why are we not scared? Why are we not fearful? Because we have the hope of eternal life in us. You know, we, we have, um, you know, we are saved. And, um... You know, we, we should be, um, you know, there should be something different about us. You know, not, not to, not to be saved, you know, because Jesus saves us. It's everything that he's done for us. Not to stay saved because there's nothing we can do to, to stay saved. It's, it's, you know, it's building upon the rock that is, that is Jesus Christ. But, you know, God doesn't want anyone to perish. And when we pray for others, when we pray for our leaders, you know, 
this is this is pleasing to God. You know, this is fulfilling the will of God for all of mankind. And you know, God God will bless us. You know, He'll bless us in this lifetime. He will answer those prayers in His way, in His time. And um, you know, all we can do is plant the seed. We can't force people people to believe, but you know, we can certainly we can certainly just pray for them and and you know this is this is praying in the will of God. Um so just wanted to do this video just, just to encourage you if you if you are struggling, um, you know, to just to just to to pray to God, to speak to God, you know, to ask for his strength. And um just keep going. Um because he haven't took all our freedoms away, um, you know, yet. So um this this is what you know this is what the um the body of Christ needs you know it needs that um that uh courage you know that um that that strength um because you know it's it's for, it's for everyone you know when you're praying in the body of Christ you're praying for everyone and you know the body of Christ is strengthened and you know we can be strong for the Lord in these um in these vessels in these bodies that he's given us um so I just encourage everyone to you know to, to pray in the will of God because God wants none to perish and all to come to repentance, all to have a change of mind, all to be saved through the simplicity that is in Christ, uh, through his death, burial and resurrection. Thank you for listening and um, have a great day. God bless.